So this is a, a clematis project that we're going to be doing. Uh, the backyard, uh, again, it's a work in progress. This was actually uh, decked and it was a big pool back here. So uh, we just installed the new fence and these big planters. This whole backyard is going to be a patio. Um, we've got the second floor and then there's going to be a first floor where the barbecue is going to be. So we've got a lot of projects to do, but just for this particular area, these clematises uh, were about 10 years old. They were beautiful, purple, flourishing. Um, until last year when everything got kind of taken out. So we built a trellis and every day I come out and I try to kind of weed it, or not weed it, but weave it through uh, this trellis that we just put up. And then right here, I'm trying to rake it out. We're gonna rake these stones out in maybe a half circle. Uh, we're going to get rid of the grass right there. We're thinking about putting a fountain or some kind of a water feature right there. And then I was thinking right at the base of the clematis, just something to give them some shelter against the heat because this is in full sun most of the day. Um, this is the evening time, so this is about the only time to get some reprieve is after, so, after about 4 o'clock. But um, they don't like the full sun on their feet, so I was going to plant maybe some lamb's ear and some shasta daisies just to give them some texture and some color against the purple blooms of the clematis. And um, shasta daisies bloom uh, for most of the summer, so uh, when the clematis is not in bloom, um, you know, I can count on the shasta daisies to kind of give that some interest along with the lamb's ear with some texture. And then you know hopefully that water feature and then there's going to be a lot of different kinds of flowers um, flowers and then vegetables I do have that last one planted you know as you might be able to see in an earlier vi a video that's a pepper patch back there but um, we're just waiting to get the inserts for the rest of our planters and then um, hopefully you will uh, kind of watch as we transform this backyard into this blank slate into something enjoyable. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.